The Twilight Zone, 1959, person or persons unknown, travelling through another dimension, dimension not in sight and sound, but mind, a journey to wondrous land, with boundaries of that imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone, oh great, just great, oh never, never again, oh sure, you go right ahead and sleep, that's right, never mind about how I feel. I'm now late to work, but what, so what, no skin off your pretty little nose, right? Oh boy, what a wife, what a dull of a wife. You could at least take my shoes off, you know. Don't want me to go to that stupid party. I ought to stay home and read. No, no, can't do that. Hurts old pretty's feelings. Oh boy, oh boy, I go to work stuff all day. She stacks out until noon. That's fair. Oh boy, oh boy, what next? Wilma, Wilma, what have you done with Razor? Hey, hey, come on. Come on, wake up. Come on, will you? I'm late, Wilma. Hey, never mind dramatics. Just tell me where you put my razor. Do, do, do that. What's the matter? You're sick? Who are you? What? Who are you? What are you doing in my bedroom? What do you mean isn't the, the YMCA? Honey, you knock, you knock, you knock it off. I t- late to tell me where you put the razor. Darling, I'm in no mood for jokes. I got out. You get out of here, Wilma. Wilma. How do you know my name? It's on a marriage certificate, remember, mister. Never seen you before in my all my life. Came of a man who just lost his most valuable possession. Doesn't know it yet. In fact, he'd almost never known about the possessions. Because like most people, David Gurney never thought about the matter of his identity. He's doing, going to be t- thinking about a great deal for now, and because it's what he's lost, his search for it's going to take him into the darkest corners of Twilight Zone. Hey, look, whoever you are, I don't want any trouble. If, I don't leave, if you don't leave, I'm going to call the police. Call the police. Call the fire brigade department. Tell them to bring the fox in the mask. There's a man dying. Not bluffing. Don't get out of here. By the time I count five, I'll call them. Oh, come on, get out, will you? I am uh, one. I'm not amused. Two, three, four, five. All right, mate. Give me, all right, give me what is the matter with you. Don't touch me. That is what I, I call delayed reaction. Two martinis at midnight. She gets stoned at and look, look. She says you go to bed and sleep it off. What are you going to do? Change my clothes. You don't mind. Where are my socks? What's the name of? What in the name of? All right. Do you mind telling me what's going on? Where are my clothes? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do not know what is going on. I suppose there's another of my Peter Dick's little gags. Well, you can tell him that it all doesn't come off. Now I'm going to work, and when I come home, you better have something straightened out. Do you understand? No. No, that's very thoughtful of you, but I'm not much in the mood for breakfast. Thanks anyway, nut. Good evening, Jim. Good morning. Hi, Jack. Morning, Julie. Fred. Yes, sir. May I help you? George, who's that? That's Mr. Cooper. Do you mind telling me what Mr. Cooper's doing at my desk? Beg pardon? I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Clyde. Better than better security. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do for you. Who the devil are you? Who's that? I said, well, who the devil are you? What are you doing my desk? Well, this? That's right, my desk. And enough of this today. Get out of that chair. I've got, I'll do nothing of the kind. Get out of it. Get out or throw you out. There's no need to get excited after the morning I put, put in. I would be kind enough to take the junk with you. What's the trouble, sir? Well, Jim, this little junk has gone far to, gone far enough. He says this is his desk. Outside, sir, we can settle this. Nothing to settle will be settled. Except I would like my nameplate back and so my picture. Failure you have to assist and mark the building. Budging. Yes, you are. Jim, you get your hands off me. I'll see you. You'll let you fired. We'll walk, talk about it outside. Put your hands up, mister. What? Put your hands up. Has anyone gone crazy? Walk three paces in front of me. Don't cause any trouble or we'll have to shoot. Move. Call the police, sir. George, what is this? All right, keep moving. Well, ma'am, will you peep, tell these people who I am? Is that the man? Yes. What's the man's this, which name, Mr. Oscar? She doesn't know. You know, after 11 years of marriage, Mr. Gurney? Allow me to introduce her, Mr. David Gurney. How to remember? I understand they staring like idiots. That's who I am, Dave Gurney. Jim, now please, will you tell them? Look, I've worked for this man for four years. Tell them, Jimmy. Fred? George? Will you tell them? Tell them who I am. That, that's right. Let go. Wait a minute. You say I'm not doing any gurney, right? 
I'll prove it to you. Let's see what you have to say this. My driver's license, my credit cards. What have you done with them? Wait a minute, I'm David Gurney. David Gurney don't care what you say. I know I am. Mr. Gurney, Mr. David Andrew Gurney. There's no need for excitement. Oh, of course not. Well, that's what everybody's telling me. Don't know who I am. Say there's no reason for excitement. Well, what do you expect me to do? Relax? No, I suppose not. I know it must be quite a shock, but look, if you were to help you, mister, you've got to face facts. You see, this man you think you are doesn't mean he's this, it's out of your head. Mind. Well, the old whole cloth of the people you met, you vented him. There's no David Angel Gurney. They're lying. Oh, come, come. Why? I don't know. Why? Why should I? I don't know. Why? What about you? You've got to be. Now listen, a man doesn't live 35 years knowing he's his, and then just because he's lost his driving license. No, no, no. It's just, it wasn't just that. This woman, uh, Miss Ben, Ben, Brennison. Woman you think you're married to. You don't know who you're married to. Her name is, not isn't Benison. It's Gurney. I see you're going to require more proof. Well, that can be arranged. Come with me, please. Oh, you haven't met your that fellow patient. That's the accident to Churchill, he thinks. Poor chap, no one knows who he really is. Now let me see how I can prove it to you. Phone, let me use the phone, of course. My number, code eight, five, two, two, one, three, one. Let me have an outside line, please, Dr. Christophe. Hello, Pete, it's Dave. Pete, it's Babe Gurney. Well, how do you like that? He's my best friend. Went to school together. Yeah, more, yes. Yes, call Condake 5347272. Ask for Miss Gurney. I'd like to speak to Mrs. Gurney, please. Just a minute, moment, please. Hey, Mum. Oh, thank God, thank God, Dave. Mum is Dave. What's the matter, Mum? Do you recognize my voice? It's Dave, your son. Oh, no, no, stop it. Don't you do it do to me. Please forgive the goal. Please, it was a mistake. Thank you. Well, David, Gunny, Garner, Garner, Andrew Garner. You live at 44757 Lime Rock Grove Avenue. That's right. Are you sure? Is it sure? The telephone? Certainly have the phone. Like the, that your number would be listed in the directory. Is it? Yes. Notice uh, that is in the current restriction. Go ahead. Now, do you believe me? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should, but it's all wait, But it, I'm all right. All right. If I'm not David Gurney, then who am I? That's what we're going to find out. In other words, I'm crazy like the guy who thinks he church you. Is that it? Let's say he's mentally disturbed. I know it's not very difficult to believe, but looking at it logically, there isn't any other explanation. So on my own last night, you had what is known as a total loss of orientation. You entered Mrs. Benson's house. No, 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 no. That's what you want me, me to believe. Is it true? Because in spite of everything, Doctor, I know I am, neither I'm crazy. Someone's going to an awful lot of trouble to block me out. And now, now, why would they want, any, want to black you out? Why should I know? I have to know. Well, what, where, whoever, wherever it is, it can rig every phone book and pay everyone else I know. They can, they, but they can't get inside my mind. Tell me something else. You can think of it. You can't think of everything. What do you mean? Does that mean just what? Man's life is made of a million details. So many details are private. I've gone places, I've done things, I've never told anyone. Even my wife. Of course, I'm sure they were. That's quite true. Now, suppose we go back to your room, you think about it. Now, you think about it, because I'm going to find one of the details. Now, I'm sorry to get, got to get away. Hey, wait a minute. What are you saying you think? Drink me drink. Be a bit particular? The usual. Huh? The usual Irish whiskey. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. Sam, look at me. Look at, okay, I'm looking at you. How am I? How many questions do I get? No, think, Sam. How many cow comes in every, here every Friday for the last three years? My wife. Who else? A lot of people came in here. What about that day, Gurney? Who? That, ah, oh, they got to him too, all right. Yeah, but you know how? I kept his place a secret. I never told anyone about it. Would you like a drink? Yeah. Sam, Sam, how? What would you do if all of a sudden everyone started telling you was you wasn't you? What? I mean everybody. Your wife, your friends. Every suddenly comes up, can't recognise you anymore. It's saying Sam Baker didn't exist. I'd switch, I'd tell them to switch brands. You, you, but you wouldn't, they wouldn't believe them. Give me another one. 
I think you had enough. Oh, I had more than enough, Sam. How do you know my name? Because we're friends. Your kid name's name, my name's Pearl. Your kid's name's a Joey and Linda. I live in a white, you live in a white oak. You used to be a prize fighter, a powerhouse baker. Pictures on the wall, right next to the Harry Gabe. Wait a minute. Oh, you're right. I think so. Keep your fingers crossed, Sam. I may have a, found a little detail. Have a look. What's the number again? You sure? Positive. Got the slip. I remember that number because of four sevens. Maybe your wife's got it. Doesn't, didn't even know it's taken. A guy to surprise her. You sure it's the 14th? Yes, on Sunday. We're at a zoo. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a seven or one? Seven. Is that? Yes. Yes, that is. You okay, mister? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, it'd be one dollar for twenty-five. Hey, wait a minute. You owe me money. Well, doctor, what brings you here? I might ask you the same question. To lose us? You wouldn't, shouldn't have left a cold car downstairs. This man owes me money. Oh, one dollar eighty-one to say that. You prove, you prove. I'm no, not crazy. I told you you couldn't think of anything, everything. Suppose you found a signature of seat. You're not proof because they're not signed a signature at any time now, ain't? Or they're a car printed up or fake the driver's license, right? But what about a photograph, Doctor? What about a photograph of me holding hands with Gail, saying she never laid eyes on me before this morning? How would you explain that? Take it out and look at it. Then think up some answers. Well, I saw her. Look, look, you saw her. You saw, you saw my wife. Now listen, mister. You don't show me nothing. But I tell you, she was there. We were together, no. We were together. We were together, we were together. We were together. Together, together, together. We were together, Dave. Dave, honey, wake up. Wake up, honey. What? Oh, Wilma, Wilma, wait a minute. Let me get this junk off my face. Don't go away. Oh, don't worry, you won't. What's the matter, honey? You sound terrible. Oh, you have a nightmare, baby. I had a nightmare, the brandy of all. I teach you to mix scotch and martinis. Yeah, that teach me all right. I oh, sorry, but you put on your. I didn't put your pajamas on, on your, in your pajamas, honey. I was a little out myself. Forgive me. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, you're in a weird mood, honey. What's wrong with you, Will? Dave, why are you looking at me like that? Dave, honey, wait, Dave. Case mistaken identity of a nightmare turned inside out. Simple loss of memory at the end of the world. Dave, only may never find the answer. But can we be sure he's looking for it in the twilight zone?